Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can read a CDS view in my custom program. So this is suppose the DDL SQL view and here if I try to get it so you can see it's a parameter so I cannot read it. So let's see how we can read this in a program. So what I'm going to do is probably what, what I'll be doing is I'll go to create a program. So let me go first and create a program. I have already a program already developed. So here you can see if I want to use I, so I'll use this DDL source. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll copy this. Okay, because I have something already built and I'll just change it to CBS2 and and here I will change it to two, three. Okay, just want to make sure. And this was written for another thing. So what I'm going to do is now I'll get the the table. So first the DDL source is this one. Okay, so here I'll change it. Okay, and here I'll show what what needs to be changed. So here this is the way I have written, and now. Here I have company code and suppose I want the customer also. So I want customer, I probably want accounting document. Okay. So I'll just I'll just get some of these features. Okay, so what I'm going to do is control Y. Let's copy this. Let's see. Copy. Just for the heck. And here I'll just do comma. Comma. Um, uh, okay, so now if I'm now checking at loop at and if I try to activate it, okay, so so I'm checking for errors. So here you can see is unknown, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy the parameter, it's very simple. It's always new while coding, you need to be writing less and copy pasting more that's my mantra and people might might differ about this but that's the way i you should be doing um, there's no point reinventing bits so here if you notice they're saying parameter p key date was not found so this is a new way this is the new way you have to write the code for this you have to write where the key date will be side datum okay and probably there will be something else let's see there's anything else so a company called customer already exists a uh, component called customer okay so where is this thing customer okay i already said twice customer that's fine that's good and now i can activate it. so you can see i have activated i'm activating it and here and what I'm going to do is I'll just put a debug uh, here. So I'll put a it's I'll put a debug here also. Okay. And now I'll execute. That will show you the data in, in debug. Okay. So I'm executing. You see the debugger stops. The debugger is the bread and butter for for a developer okay so now if i execute you see this this has passed and here i will get all this record so this is the way you have to write code okay you need to write the code here whenever there is a parameter bounded you need to put the value here this is the this is the way to write the code okay so this is very simple and i'll probably put it in the description so that uh, you all can understand and if you see the video you can see it also so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and this is very important in the s4 hana world how to read a cds view which has parameters in it. okay so that's it uh, take care and have a great day